welcome to my channel. So today we're doing a get ready with me. It is actually New Year's today, but this video will probably go up next week. But I figured I'd film the makeup that I did when I go out. Just, you know, why not make a video out of it? I'm really scared of smoky eyes. They never really look good on me. So I kind of did like the mild version of it. It's still kind of light in the center, so it's slightly halo eye, put the little glitter in the middle, and I kind of like how it came out, so if you like it, then keep watching. In my last makeup video, in the New Year's Eve video, I accidentally had to do one eye before filming just because my battery was messed up, and I kind of liked doing one off camera because it also gives me a chance to figure out what I want to do instead of winging it, so I went ahead and did my right eye. It was supposed to be like a burgundy smoky eye. The burgundy kind of fell away, so kind of turned into this like gray gold like smoky eye, but kind of not. I don't know. This is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and do it on the other eye. Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just gonna rub a oh, mother fuck. Oh my god. I just pinched all my skin off. Oh my god. So Still throbbing. Okay. Whew. Nude base color. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow in Nude. Actually, I didn't finish this eye because I didn't do my brows or highlight my brow bones. So, can't forget that. My finger's killing me. I'm gonna take this crease brush and my Too, Too Faced Totally Cute palette and take this orange Bunny Foo Foo color. We're gonna transition with that. I also put a little bit of that on the bottom just so that the color that I will use will blend into that. Also, I'm not wearing face makeup, so when I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna do that at the end. Oh, you know what? I used tape. So if you're gonna follow this step with me, it's just to make a clean line at the outside of the eye, which doesn't matter because I ended up putting a wing over it anyway, but you wanna take it from the outer corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eyebrow. What did I do next? I'm just gonna put a little more of this, of the primer. So I did use this. Um, it probably isn't showing on this eye, but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's what I did on my other eye. This is my BH Cosmetics Supernova palette, and I took Neutron, which is like this burgundy color. I took my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and took some matte black and a pencil brush. It's just kind of creating some depth on the outside here. I also went a little bit along my lash line as well with the black. And then I kind of took the leftover and went into the crease with it. And then I dipped a little more, just a drop of the orange just to help lend that transition again. Then we take this off. Oh, why is it like swerved? Whatever, we're gonna cover it with a wing anyway. But I am going to blend in a little bit just to clean this up. Actually, to do the opposite of clean it up, we're making it less clean. <laughs> NYX glitter glue, just a little drop. This little, just in the center, on the balls of the eye. NYX Pigment Glitter and Vegas Baby. With my finger, I'm just gonna take some and dab it right on the ball, like that. Okay, so I didn't want this much. I wanted it a more subtle glitter, so I actually took a clean fluffy brush, and we're just gonna try to wipe away the excess. First, I'm just wiping it away from the crease. I'm gonna touch the center last. I'm just gonna kind of wipe around it because I want it to blend to the most pigment in the middle. Okay, I think that is good. Sephora liquid liner. And it's a pretty thick line for me, but thicker towards the outer end. I'm going to curl my lashes. Rimmel London Super Curler. For my lashes, I'm going to use NYX Be Wicked. I don't know what number it is, but it's these. <laughs> Honestly, these have been my favorite ones lately because they're very like natural. There's no band on it and it's like very fluttery. 
I don't know, like, I've been wearing it, like, without makeup and just put the lashes on and, like, fill it in with some liner and, like, you're good. Duo Clear Lash Glue. I always use clear because nobody puts lashes on so perfectly where they don't accidentally touch any point of their eye. And if you've spent so long on your eyeshadow and then you get a piece of black glue, like, somewhere that it shouldn't be, you just messed up your entire eye. But this one, if it hits your lid on the way to the lash, it just dries clear, so you're good. <coughs> I had Indian food and it was so spicy and now there's like mucus like gathering up. Okay, you hold your lash like this so that it dries curved. I think these are ready. This is my lash tweezer. And then blend them with my lashes. I like to do this while glue is still not 100% dry because then I feel like my lashes are sticking to the glue a little bit, which isn't fun for taking them off. So use a remover or coconut oil. Take a little drop of NYX Glitter Glue in the tear duct. Dab a little bit more Vegas Baby and dab. That is so much. That is too much. Okay, I'm gonna take a tiny little detailed brush, go in with my Beach Cosmetics Blush Neutrals palette, and take this cranberry color. Go crazy on the bottom. I'm going to take this tiny little detailed brush from Ricky's. It's Morphe M443 and my Bobbi Brown gel liner. I'm gonna dip into it a little and darken random lashes on the bottom. Marc Jacobs Sample Black Eyeliner in the waterline. Take some matte black and connect the wing to the outer edge there. Okay, um, my brows. Anastasio Dip Brow in medium brown. Okay, my Too Faced Concealer. And some Stilla Tinted Moisturizer. Hello? Hey, what's your studio? Um, I'm really late. <laughs> Laura Mercier Setting Powder. In the meantime, I'm gonna take this NYX Lip Liner in... It says natural on it, so I think that's the color. Okay, I'm actually going to take a little bit more of the matte black and just set the liner. I'm going to take this Too Faced bronzer. I'm going to take a little bit of this blush color from the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals palette. I'm gonna take a highlight from my Too Faced Totally Cute palette, Unicorn. I'm gonna take a little down the nose and on the tip of the nose. Also, just gonna take a brush, take the bronzer again, and just hit the sides of my nose. Oh, and a little highlight on the brow bones. Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, my favorite. This is the finished look. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.